Okay, we'll have some more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Last time we played as April and we went to the Technodrome, well, what was left of it. And in case you guys have not watched the last episode, I should say it was among the most nonsensical episodes. Well, by far the most nonsensical episode. We actually made it to the boss. But I don't know if, it's, if it was a glitch in the game or what, but Chrome Dome absolutely would not jump back out. They were sending foot soldier after foot soldier after foot soldier. And I literally could not beat him, so instead of even bothering beating him, which if, if you guys do want to see me beat him, watch the Lightning Fan uh, stream that I have in the description. But anyway, I am going to give a chance to Casey Jones here. This will be the last uh, episode I feature with him in. But anyway, before we continue, hopefully you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys are doing well. But yeah, I'm not... If you guys want to see me beat Chrome Dome, you can see me beat it with Lightning Farron in the video below. But I am not going back and beating the boss in episode 13. That was absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, we're going to be going up to episode 14, alert, alert, The Lost Arch Enemies. I wonder if that's not supposed to be Arch Nemesis, but that's how I normally... Read it, but it is Arch Enemies. So without further ado... The lost arch enemies. I'm not sure if you guys can make out who that is uh, in the, uh... Um... Up, bucket. In the silhouette there. I was able to figure out who it was in my initial playthrough. Of course, you gotta watch out for the asteroids here. But yeah, I cannot believe the BS that was the last episode. I hope you guys don't mind me not beating that boss, but that was absolutely horrendous. I've never encountered anything like that before where I was unable to get Chrome Dome back out. That was... If the game doesn't want to play fair, I'm not going to play fair with it, so... That's how I look at it. And that's really the first main issue I've had with this game since I've been playing it. And I should say that after this episode, I'll be playing the remainder of the game as April O'Neil, despite her struggles in the Technodrome Redux, which I can't even really blame her for that, to be honest. I honestly blame the game. Because I should have been able to easily beat Chrome Dome, but the game just wouldn't have it. And like I said, if the game doesn't want to play fair, I'm not going to play fair with it. Of course, you get to see the pizza monsters. Of course, excellent start here. Oh, come on! Ha <laughs> I need pizza. There. Oh, come on! This is absolute. <sighs> Come on, I knew that. I knew the last part of this game would be tough, but uh, this is almost like borderline not fair. Look at this! Give me a freaking break! Yeah, this game's really starting to not play fair now, and I'm not liking it at all. Shoot. It'll help 
of these freaking things would not be in an invincibility state the entire freaking time. There. Are you kidding me? There. Yeah, I mean, you probably sent a little bit of frustration on my part here. I don't know what uh, what I'm supposed to do here. Well, I know what I'm supposed to do, but you know what I mean. I don't know how I'm supposed to do anything different from what I am just because of how freaking unfair this game has become. And mind you, this is normal difficulty. This is okay difficulty, which is medium difficulty. Imagine what gnarly is like. Oh, come on. Tell you what, Casey Jones is good at de uh, dealing with those uh, stone warriors. Shice out rock soldiers or whatever they're called. Oh, come on. Okay, I see where this is going. <laughs> of course you wouldn't let me freaking do that. Of course you wouldn't. I'm gonna need some more pizza. Come on, get out of here. Of course, if you go up here, then you can avoid the turrets below. And you can lure the... Okay. Yeah, I've had enough. Oh, I should've... I'm probably not gonna get a chance to now. Oh, come on! And I should say that Slash is one of my favorite characters in the Turtle Universe, even though he's a villain. Feels good being able to beat a boss and beat it fairly. But anyway, like I said early on, that was my second attempt at Casey Jones. I've played as each character at least twice. But I am going to finish the rest of the game as April since she's the highest uh, level character that I have. And the final two episodes are going to be doozies. So, so I said, if, yeah, the final two episodes. So I do want someone higher rated for those, but, um... Now, let's get down to business. But yeah, we're gonna be playing the penultimate level in the next episode. 
which is Outworld Strange Awaits, which hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. We are really getting to the end of this uh, playthrough of story mode, so I really hope you guys are enjoying it. I know I did not technically beat episode 13, but like I said, if you guys want to see how Chrome Dome gets defeated, you can just click on the link below, or uh, copy and paste, I should say, because I don't think the hyperlink is working, but you can always copy and paste the link and see me and Claire kick some shell on there, but, um... But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. And I'll be seeing you guys again next time.